Oh, <laughs> I I'm the silly little beaver. Hello! My latest adventure happened late at night under the moon's bright glow. It's titled Loud Bang in the Night. <laughs> I fell out of bed because of the loud noise and a strange bright light. Goodness, I ran so fast to see if I could assist. My good friends said they were sorry, but no help was needed at night. They did insist. What a good lesson I learned from that night with my friends. When you're done with the book, please leave a comment. I monitor what everyone recommends. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. <laughs> Enjoy! Uh, I'm hungry again? I just ate. Uh. Out comes a beaver, <laughs> jumping on wood. Silly little beaver, <laughs> jumping on wood. Out comes a beaver, <laughs> jumping on wood. Silly little beaver, <laughs> jumping on wood. The Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver Loud Bang in the Night Written and narrated by Luke Deline Illustrated by Lene Deline Blurt! A loud noise rang out in Beaver Town, startling the silly little beaver as he was sleeping so sound. What was that noise? He yelled as he fell out of bed. He got up and ran to the window, holding his head. As he peered outside into the night, he noticed off in the distance some sort of bright light. He said to himself, Wait! That's Audrey the Moose's place! In an instant, he was off into the night, running toward her house in a rather fast pace. When he arrived at the house, he noticed something odd. A car was outside, and it appeared to be a police squad. There in the house, alongside Audrey, stood Douglas the Deer, who was a local cop. He also owned the hardware shop. They appeared to be laughing and telling each other jokes. The silly little beaver was excited, since they were both good folks. He shouted, Hello! and caught them off guard. They both came outside and joined the silly little beaver in the yard. Is everything okay? The silly little beaver said, still holding a cold towel up to his aching head. Yes, of course. Why do you ask? Said Douglas concerned. I came to visit Audrey. She had some books from the library needing to be returned. Relieved, the silly little beaver replied, I heard a super loud sound coming from here. When I arrived, I was surprised to see my friend, Douglas the Deer. I'm so sorry about that, began Audrey with a frown. We were trying to take that old windmill wheel down. Douglas then added, It fell to the ground with a super loud crash. I turned on my car's lights, which caused a bright flash. We are so sorry to wake you from a restful night's sleep. We tried to get it done without making a peep. The lesson we've learned tonight is clear. Audrey explained, still wearing her frown. 
is don't work super late when neighbors are near. Be respectful of others is what we will do, explained Douglas. We already know exactly how to. Thank you, my friends, sighed the silly little beaver with a smile. I'm sure you'll be working on projects during the day for a while. He turned to go home and back to his warm bed. When he stopped, turned back, and softly said, I will come by in the morning when it's light to help with your project, Audrey. Would that be all right? To that, Audrey gave a nod and the friends parted ways. Forever friends, always during both good and bad days. The end. Thank you for watching the animated version of my book series, The Adventures of the Silly Little Beaver. We have many more books being released soon, so please click on the subscribe button now. Thank you again, and enjoy your day. <laughs> I I'm off to find some wood to eat now. Bye-bye!